now we need to verify that we are indeed online. So you should have a couple of computers like this up here in the top right hand corner or a Wi-Fi symbol. And also the icon in the center should not say that you are not connected to the internet. If it says you are not connected to the internet, you need to check your settings. You may need to restart the box. And uh, if you still have trouble, turn off your router, unplug it, leave it off for about a minute, plug it back in, wait another minute, and then try again. We highly recommend using an ethernet connection as the speeds can be up to 100 times faster than that of Wi-Fi. If you cannot use ethernet, go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi, but make sure that you do have a good connection. So now that we are online, we're going to go over to the Play Store, and what this will allow you to do is to update applications such as YouTube or Chrome so that you can actually use those. So you click on the Play Store and then select either new or existing account. If you need to create a new account, just go ahead and click that and uh, pause the video here so that you can continue after you have that created. I'm going to select existing and type in my email address and password. Then just go ahead and click the done right here and select OK. And then go ahead and go down to the arrow down here and hit OK again. And that will take a second. Then it's going to open up the Play Store and then you can just hit Accept. If it ever asks you to enter in a credit card number, Keep in mind that there is a skip button on that screen. You do not have to enter any card information if you don't want to purchase things. At this point, you're going to want to update a couple things. The main ones are going to be YouTube and Chrome. I'm just going to go ahead and show you updating YouTube. And then you just click on YouTube and hit update and accept. And while that's updating, if you'd like, you can go ahead and type in Chrome. See the little check mark right there? That means that it's installed. These things that just say free, those are not installed. So I'm going to click on Chrome, and then again I'm going to hit Update. And if you wanted to download any other apps, you could type those in right now. So you can choose from any of the, the apps that are on there. Always make sure that they say that they are free apps unless you want something that is a pay for app. So if I wanted to install this one, I could just go ahead and click on this, hit install, hit accept, and it's as simple as that. And then if you wanted to check the progress on any of that, you can go back to my apps. What I would also do is go up to the three little dots and click on settings and make sure that you have things set to auto update. So you can click on auto update and tell it to update anytime and then it will always keep all of your apps updated for you. And that's pretty much it. You can press the home key on the keyboard that'll take you back out to the main menu or you can hit the back arrow a few times. Once you get out here go ahead and get onto YouTube and make sure that it is indeed working Right now you can see it says that there is an update for it. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and it's automatically going to go to the Play Store and tell me that I have to download the update for Google Play services. Go ahead and hit the update on that and accept. And now I'm launching YouTube again. And there's YouTube up and running. So now that we have YouTube all up to date, that will also update some of the other Google Play services. So it just helps to keep your box up to date. So on to the next video.